Welcome Librans. This is the year 2021. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Wow, Librans, this is your business, career, and money reading. Let's go in it and see what is transpiring. All right, we're going to be first looking at the half year. We look at uh, these reading per quartals, okay? This is the first quartal, the second quartal, third quartal, fourth quartal. I see um, some sort of uh, um, it's, it's really um, the first quartal is very balanced. Um, there's a lot of money coming in. Um, the first um, the first quartal there could be um, a lot of money coming in. Um, the beginning of a, of a new start with your financial situation. It is really balanced out. You have um, the element of hurt, which is uh, um, the um, money. Um, you have the element of emotions, which is emotional situation. And we have the energy of uh, um, fire. So we have the king and queen of fire um, and some sort of a financial situation with the king and queen of fire so i see a lot of you could be having your assigned people as your boss okay and i say um um you could be receiving some sort of uh help i see the eight of cups you're leaving um i think that is the king and then you're moving on um and finding another job so um a lot is going to be coming up for you guys so and um yep that is the, the um yeah so i see a fire sign man you're dealing with a, a fire sign man um the pure power of the element of hurt okay so the world is your oyster and that is going to be coming up so that is what is coming in then we see an offer of uh, like pure love I see a lot of you liberals are going to be really emotional imbalance. Um, uh, yeah, emotional imbalance. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever is going on and transpiring, I see emotional imbalance. So your money month is going to be January and April, which is taxes and um, August. September. So that's where like extra money is going to be coming in for you Librans, January, uh, April and August. Okay. So September, be aware of that. All right. So let's look at January. What is coming up for you guys in January? January um, is the earth, the collaboration of earth. So a lot of you in January could be, um, you know, deciding to collaborate with people. Okay. And expand your business or um, expand um, uh, um, like your um, department uh, um, for growth and experience with the arrival of, uh, um, you know, extra people coming on board at work. That sort of a thing. Or uh, you are connecting with extra people around you who are very skillful and have the skill set and the contemp and contemporary of your own skill set okay so these may arrive in a, um like surprising ways and in unconventional ways okay so unexpectedly like uh, people are coming in um that you're going to be collaborating with maybe you're changing your job maybe you're moving in a new department maybe people are moving in your new your department however that is plain and transpiring and it can be that you are um in change of a new job and you're meeting new people that sort of a thing but whatever is transpiring you're collaborating you could become a you you, you could you could be a secretary and that sort of a thing but it is about uh, um, merging together with other people and collaborating with other people and that is going to be good in january because that is going to be um showing you um money coming out uh, like extra overtime bonus in September and in April, okay? So whatever you start 
whether you are going to be collaborating with other people in the month of January, whatever business endeavor and that sort of a thing, it's going to be helping you um, because it's going to bring extra money in in September and in April. Okay. Then um, the energy of the Eight of Cups so in February, some of you could be um, walking away, leaving a job or a position. Um, that could be one of the situation is uh, um, where some of you could be deciding to leave a, a job situation behind or you are longing to be in some sort of a new job. OK, so the eights, the eights are always long and um, long, long evative um, in the element of, 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 of all eights. OK, so a new arrow of emotional stability is available to you. So, um, but you have got to do some major deep diving in your historic pattern of achieving it. Okay. So it's, it's, it's about you want to achieve something. Okay. You're longing to achieve something, but you have to like move yourself in the position. So whether you're going to be doing a new study or you're going to be going deeper, Take an honest inventory of how you act and react emotionally in your life and begin to start out and see what you do and do not want to keep repeating as you move forward, okay? So what is happening and transpiring is that a lot of you are going to be realizing how people can push your button and you're going to be start controlling that, okay? Because you don't want people to push your button, so... Whatever is happening and transpiring is a long, a long evaded. Um, the eight is long evaded. So it's as if someone else has been pushing your buttons for a very long time. So I see that you're going to be learning um, to work around that in the month of uh, February. Okay, so we're going to be looking at uh, what you decide to do. If you decide to leave, you decide to stay. So follow us to see the extended of this reading. Okay. In the month of March, another um, cups energy and the element of water. Um, in March is the element of water. And the seven is always overcoming doubt. So in March, you overcome doubt. So it's as if in February, you started out in a job. And, uh, you know, someone was just pulling your string and uh, just uh, trying to create some sort of an uh, issue for you. Pulling your string and trying to create problems and issue, and I say, and I and and I realize uh, um, that uh, you overcome it. Let's say that because it's about over overcoming. The seventh is uh, overcoming doubts because you thought that you were going to blow your top in February, um, and you thought you were going to get up and walk away from a situation, but it didn't happen. So what you did was just, you realized that you really overcome it. So what is that that you truly desire? You truly desire to hold this job. So that's why you didn't blow your top. Rather than what you want to own as an aspect to do or to create, what do you desire out of life? To hold your job. And that is the reason why you didn't blow your top. Okay. So the first quarter, oh my God, is going to be, um, wow, first quarter is going to be what, ladies and gentlemen? Um, a lot of uh, um, watery energy, the element of water in the two months that you are here and you're having a lot of emotional um, instability where you learn to control that and overcome it. Um, that sort of an issue and situation um, that was there. So that is good in the first quarter. The second quarter, um, <clears throat> let's look at the second quarter, April, May, and June. Thank you. April, May, and June. Um, what we come up with with April, the pure power of the element of heart. So um, this is just so powerful because um, this is the ace of coin and... Uh, the pure power of the element of earth is wonderful. The world is your oyster. So whatever is happening and transpiring in the month of April, the world is your oyster. That is uh, your affirmation. The world is my oyster. The world is my oyster, okay? Consider this energy a golden seed that you can plant to grow anything you 
um, wish to, okay? So April is going to be, you're going to be receiving something that is going to be your golden nugget, okay? Just, um, just like um, a regular seed, you cannot simply plant it and walk away. It will take time, great time and care to tend to the seed as it grows itself into full potential. So expect some sort of unexpected bonus payout um, that is going to be coming in. Some of you could be eating also um, a promotion. So that is going to be good. All right. And that is going to be um, creating um, some sort of a positive thing. It is uh, um, tax season. So a lot of you could be um, re regaining a whole lot of money from tax. So that is also good. Now, in the month of May, the month of May, you're dealing with the king. Um, you're dealing with the air of fire. Um, the stretches is. So you're going to be strategizing um, or you're going to be creating. Okay, so you're going to be using the king of fire energy in the month of May. So the king of fire energy is. Uh, um, it's, it's all about. Uh, um, details okay more details is going to be coming into view now okay around a situation that you can um you couldn't see clearly at the uh, at work or with work situation okay taking all the information and give it a little time to settle and from a clear picture before you take action once all has been communicated and a plan is formulated, you can switch gears and follow your instinct on how to proceed. With your creative ability, so I tell you, you can find the inability of some sort of a solution. Okay, so whatever is transpiring and is happening is as if... Um, the universe is saying, take on the air of fire energy, take on the air of a fire energy, because this is about uh, strategizing and creating something new. And that is the energy that you're going to be taking on in the month of May. Okay. Wonderful. Um, then we go to the month of June. The month of June is when is, 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 um, um, water of fire, okay, water of fire. Um, so the month of June is really water of fire. It's about the nurturing side and creative side, okay. So creative people and people who work in the, um, the health, um, organization and that sort of a thing is going to be at a high energy point in the month of June, okay. That's when more, um, accidents and that sort of a thing happen. So do what you love and love what you do. Every accident is being pulled into alignment with your heart as you set about to organize, organize your habits, your work, um, your everyday duties around you. And this is going to be just so wonderful and powerful. Okay, so um, this is absolutely, absolutely fabulous. Um, um, you are shifting energies and shifting energies in this year especially when you come down to May, June, you are taking on the energy of the fire and the passion. You're taking on the energy of uh, the fire, the air of fire, air of fire, and um, the water of fire, okay? So whatever is transpiring, you're taking on the air of fire and the water of fire in these two uh, months, and you're really going to be creating and, um, you know, creating new way of... Uh, a transition and this is going to be good so um this is really wonderful and positive so um it's not a bad half year to be said from january until june it's not bad um you know you're really balancing out whatever um the situation is uh, you're balancing out and um i love where your money sits it sits in um january and april where unexpected money could be coming in. And with the energy of uh, the fire energy, what we're seeing, um, especially whoever that was dealing, I see the end is coming up for an Aries Leo or Sagittarian um, man, 50 years and older, the end is coming up for this person, okay? 
um and then the seven of cups uh, is uh, um a lot of you a fire sign person could be opening up some sort of uh, opportunities and door for you okay so we we, we got to look at that when we go to the extended let's move on to the other half here the other half here we come up with a lot of uh, water energies okay and water is about um uh the the sense of uh, regrets regrets um some sort of an issue so we have um the four of uh, the stability in element of water okay so um we have the stability so four is always stability um so that is good so stability you have stable emotional situation so calm seas and uh, um allow you to um recalibrate your heart compass aligning you with what you truly desire you peacefully contented to take on whatever is coming to you so you're going to be accomplished a lot in the month of july because it's as if people are on vacation so you're more karma and you have enough time to deal with whatever that is coming in so this is going to be good because july you're going to be having your freedom of uh, um stability okay emotional stability at the workplace where you don't need to be helping other people with their work but you can you can have time to focus on your work and uh, bring out your work so this is going to be very very good okay so wonderful alignment of energy that is going to be so positive um so um expect um emotional stability in a uh, um, the month of June at a workplace where things kind of July, where things kind of calm down. Okay. As we look at August, August is one of those, um, lovely months where you're going to be collaborating, um, with other people. Okay. There's going to be gatherings. So some people could be going on vacation, but, um, gather your people and, re um, revive in the immense comfort and emotional support you um, can give to these people so if you're a supervisor and that sort of a thing you could be dealing the de doing some sort of a team retreat tweet team meeting or some sort of a connection um if you are able to go back to work uh, some sort of a connection and that sort of a thing possibilities the opening up of the heart chakra and it is time to do team building and you know if you're looking for someone to help you to do your team building i am open I um fly to the people um when they are doing team building and we work at, with um, um people doing team building. So on the business side, um we fly to you guys and we help you with your team building and how um to balance out uh, these sort of a situation. So this is going to be good because the three is about collaboration, okay? And this is absolutely wonderful. A whole lot of collaboration where some sort of a team building, some sort of a um, um, way where people are going to be coming together and like um, helping, um, whether it's team building or just people working together for the best, okay? So getting projects, getting situation or just working together. What is so good is that uh, in September, you have um, the... Um, initial wisdom and the initial wisdom um of the heart and that is the two of pentacles so the initial wisdom of the heart is that you are ready to make some move okay so i see a lot of you in september thinking about changing your job um ready to get out of a job get out of a position and to make some sort of a um, move moving forward and this is going to be good so um, whatever is happening and transpire, I see a lot of you are um, initially ready to make some move. Initial wisdom of elements of the heart. And you're going to be making a lot of move and this is going to be good. So wonderful alignment of energy. So um, a lot of you could be flexible. You could be having a flexible job, flexible job position. Um, you know, just really surveying the land and really taking a look knowledge getting i am not um um educated or thinking about going back to school and you know going back and taking some sort of a courses so that is going to be good in september and you will receive um the money okay that is so wonderful then when 
we get back to the energy of uh, um, October um, because now the third quarter is emotional balance, collaborating with other people, which is good, and thinking about uh, um, to create a, a better stability for yourself in your world. And that is going to be absolutely fantastic. Okay. Then we're looking at uh, October to December. Now, these are the best three months. Basically, there is no push and shove and that sort of a thing. You're taking it one day at a time. You're understanding what is going on. So you have the energy of uh, initial wisdom of water. Now, initial wisdom of water is, uh, is, 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 is understanding just like the initial wisdom of heart is a building is trying to make a decision to either go back to school or to educate yourself or to do something. Um, and the initial wisdom of water is basically the self, but it's as if it, you could be, um, going to, um, um, you know, agreeing to work with someone. It's like the coming together of two hearts, the harmony, um, is a um, beautiful thing. So you could apply for a job. You went to do the interview and you feel as if you know this person from a past lifetime. Whatever the relationship, not, um, plum, um, um, creative business relationship, however this is, you realize that you have experienced this person frequency on another, um, in another lifetime of so. And that's how people get jobs. Um, be open and attuned to find these connection in all areas of your life. So this is like a month where a lot of people are going to be applying for a job. So September, some of you could be thinking, who I need to apply for a new job. And uh, um, that's what you're going to be doing. And you go to apply for this job. You meet this person and you realize, oh, my God, it's as if I've known this person um, for a lifetime. And um, that is what is going to be moving you and um, for the, the person to give you this job opportunities and that's how it works basically people so um um i see a lot of you who um decide in september to apply for a new job you're going to be getting a new job in october directly for the rest of you i see people are going to be like um awarding you or pushing you up the ladder, like um, people in the company that is going to be seeing some of your uh, potential is going to be aligning you and pushing you up the ladder. Um, some of you could um, create some sort of a collegial relationship of the work floor, collegial, where a person and you becomes very close um, in the sense of girlfriends and girlfriends, good friends, uh, um, that support each other. Okay, that sort of a situation. So that is going to be good. Then we look at the haze of cup in of in November. A really beautiful energy. The pure of power. Okay. Um. So the pure of power of water. The pure of power of water. And this is absolutely beautiful. Divine love has come to wash over you, smoothing any rough edges and cleansing out the stagnant corners uh, um the source of true uh fulfillment cannot be found in another person object and action it can only be found within you your heart beats with the pulse of the universe love and acceptance and this is it it's as if uh, a lot of people um is going to be finding out that, that um you librans, especially um, um, work at the workplace, have this uh, open heart that is just unbelievable. Okay, and um, I see a lot of people are going to be um, both you showing love to a lot of people, or a lot of people is going to be showing a lot of love to you in November um, on the work floor because it's as if uh, um, you could have started a new job in. Uh, um, the month of uh, uh, October and they're really seeing that you're really good at your job and people are appreciating um, the work that you are um, 
um, that you're showing up for yourself and really helping out the company in a good way. So they're going to be happy with you. If you started a job in October and um, November, you're going to be realizing that they appreciate it. So, so this is absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And in the month of December, um, month of December is going to be extremely, extremely good for um, you guys because uh, um, the month of December, you have the energy of the world, okay? And the energy of the world in this um, um, deck is uh, stepping forward into uncertainty, okay? You're being rebirthed into a new version of yourself, and this is powerful, this is really, really powerful. So like a lot of you, um, it could be a situation where um, you decide, oh, okay, I have a certain experience. I see a job opportunity. I am going to apply for that job opportunity. And you think, okay, uh, you apply and then you apply. And what happened is that, yeah, you got it. Okay. Uh -huh. You got it unexpectedly you got it and you're like oh I didn't expect that and uh, it's unbelievable for you but yeah um you really got it and that is wonderful so, I mean, what is happening in transpiring is that you're going to be realizing, oh, unbelievable, um, it is, um, in this year, okay? So, in order to see the extended of this reading, I would advise you guys to take, um, um, the join button. Then you're going to be realizing who and what you're working with. Take the join button. I gotta go. Namaste.